Watch out, Martin is sassy. Why is that a thing? What is that? I don't know. Sassy for me always felt kind of sexy. I don't think they mean sexy. I think they just mean I'm disgusting and rude. <laughs> Is that something that you want to be known by? Yeah, definitely. Sassy? Yeah, it's what I planned. All right. I did, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's life's ambition. Because they're, because they're not front and centre. I am. Absolutely. And every film that I'm in should have me front and centre. <laughs> well, that's you, what's lacking in cinema. You could be getting a call at any time. Absolutely. Any day now, any minute, uh, we we're going to give birth to a baby girl and a kiddo. <laughs> you know, I tell you, I'm, I'm expecting Something very important as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, no, mate. FedEx. A FedEx have... delivery. Yeah. <laughs> Get some shoes delivered. Oh, they're lovely. I, need, I, need I don't want to miss them. Yeah, I don't want to be out. Yeah. Did you ever stand there just in the feet, mm. nothing else, and look at yourself <laughs> as a naked Bilbo? I did not, because there was, there was never the opportunity to do it, because I never took them home, and I wasn't going to do that at work. No. <laughs> no, I'll be honest with you, I find that really weird that you didn't do that. Fair enough. Of course you would. Do I that. think you're crazy for not doing it. Yeah, but I'm at work, Jonathan, and I, I, I mean, people are, you know, two lovely young women are putting on my stockings. I'm not going to suddenly take all my clothes off <laughs> just to see what I. Well, look you like. take your own clothes off when they're out of the room. What, what do you think filming the Hobbit is? I don't know. <laughs> they're out of <laughs> room. <laughs> what room? <laughs> in the studio that's costing forty-three zillion pounds a second. Hold on, everyone. I just want to see what my knob looks like with these. Well, no. <laughs> because I got injured right at the beginning of the night. And so... And so How did you get injured? Do 30 takes. <laughs> the next day, I had to be revolved around <laughs> beyond and then act as well, you know. He's laughing, so is the injury story funny? <laughs> I want to hear this. Well, so no, nice. no, but I, I, I mean... <laughs> see, because he's such a trooper, we were down to about take 405. I was like, how are you holding up? He's like, yeah, I've been in pain all the time. <laughs> and no one knew, because he was being so nice about it. But that kind of tickles me in a psychotic way. And the Biffa for Best British Independent Film of 2016 goes to... Genuinely can't open it. I'm not even being cute. Fuck me. 45 Years of Prog and Roll by Brian Pern. Read by Martin Freeman. Can I stop you there, Martin? I do it as if you were one of the great Welsh actors. One of the great Welsh actors? Yeah. Like Anthony Hopkins? Perfect. Perfect. You want Anthony Hopkins? Yes, that would be good. I tell you Try what, that. why don't you fucking hire Anthony Hopkins, then we'll all be a lot happier. Jesus. Do me a favour, will you, Brian? Lose my number. Awesome. Good question. Good answer. Good question. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can't say that about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to drop in things about me now. <laughs> Christ, I'm a good actor. So, to cut a long story short, I'm a direct descendant of Henry VIII. Is that right? Wow. Serious? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, but... Yeah. You, you and Danny Dyer. No, I've come to Graham Norton and I'm lying about it. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound like a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So, um, so uh, my 14 times great-grandmother was Mary Bolin, the sister of Anne Bolin, Jesus. and it's widely believed that her daughter is the love child of her and Henry VIII. Um. So, widely believed. Oh, here we go. Best British independent film. And the winner is all of you, because you'll get to go and dance in a minute. Um, I've just realised, you know what, I, have I... Oh, man. I genuinely don't have the envelope. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's Sam <laughs> <laughs> It's a wrestler. It's a wrestler. 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 Why the hell do you want a selfie with me? <laughs> if you're a normal kind of guy as a wrestler... Yeah. <laughs> Well, you never cease to be amazed by what they have done in the interim, you know. I never cease to be amazed that someone like you Don't has copy to my be... What? I said that. Yeah, no, 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 that's... <laughs> I'm the, the one who ceases I'm... to be amazed. What? If you are lucky enough to work in something that you would do for free, and have done for free, and will do for free again, if you are paid handsomely to do the thing that you love, well, you know, you better not <laughs> complain too much about stuff. Sounds like a good gig. It is a good gig, yeah, it really is. Where's my latte? I love Moon and Me. I just, man, it's so good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Mr. Onions? That, is that Mr. Mr. Onions? It's, that's What, the one Mr. that looks Onion. like an onion? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean no offence, mm. but I'm not into fantasy at all. No, you just like children's fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> just encyclopedia about <laughs> children's shit from before you were even a dad. <laughs> Last time I was on it, Mark Ruffalo accused me of being a paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's if it happened again. If it happens once, <laughs> it might be unfortunate. <laughs> if it happens twice from two unconnected people, <laughs> mate. <laughs> What's happening now? Is it that? Is it that mic again? Fucking modern art. Oh, oh yeah, You're much more colourful. What's, is that a bow above your penis? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what it's like you've just been wrapped really? up. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to. I'm the colour yeah. for another one. Do you mind? No, please. No, but really. <laughs> no, I really don't. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, do oh, you, you, are you just... Are you <laughs> <doing that>? <laughs> 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 Shush! Um, now, yesterday we had George Ezra in, who I then learned that you were hanging out with on uh, Friday. He, I'm convinced that he's my best showbiz friend, because I met him on Friday, so that makes... I spent probably about an hour with him. Yeah, I think we're best friends. What's okay. the yellow bit at the bottom? Oh, is that your... What the hell is that? It, it's a, That's like a target. It's it's from The Hobbit. From That's the like the a gun Earth, It's a... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the crosshairs. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's a ride where kids can go on a... And adults can go... <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it didn't look like night in that picture. It was, well, it was filmed in summer. I immediately thought that, Graham. Did... And then I knew he was going to say that shit. <laughs> yeah. I swear on my life that it was filmed in one night at Alton Towers. <laughs> you won't believe anything I say, <laughs> will you? And before you asked, there was no children there, OK? Yeah, it's funny all the interactions he's chosen. Yeah. Legoland. Oh, come on. <laughs> he, he's, he's very... He apparently can't watch anything scary. Really? At all. He's a bit Jesse. Like, very much to the point where Jesse Harry Jesse. Potter... Harry, Harry, Harry Potter? Potter. <laughs> I'm not really? kidding. He told me that Harry Potter gave him <laughs> nightmares. And so he's left this question for you. I have never had a nightmare with Voldemort in it because I'm not 12, George. Sure. Didn't ping pong take over your life? Then there was a tournament that developed and I got very competitive. And I really shouldn't have been competitive because I'm not very good. I'm quite good at table yeah. tennis. Really? I genuinely am quite... I'm not brilliant, but I'm right. quite good. If I see a table tennis table anywhere, I want to play on it. It's like crack. <laughs> Okay. And I was unbeaten. Actually, totally unbeaten. no, wait, wait, wait. You were going to be a professional squash player. For about five minutes, squash was quite big, and then it kind of went underground again. Do you use the ceiling also in squash? <laughs> you just, you use walls. Oh, it's like racquetball. Yeah, but with a smaller uh, head and... <laughs> and a smaller ball. It is funny to see you smiling, though. It's like you're doing a, a character or something. <laughs> it's, it's, he doesn't even know me and he thinks I'm a miserable shit. <laughs>